Good evening, Wildcat families and class of 2020. My name is Ms. Ferda and I'm your activities coordinator. First off, class of 2020, let me just say, I miss you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. And I'm sorry that our time was cut so short. I'm super excited to be here tonight with you guys in order to give out a couple of awards. So let's get to the fun stuff. Um, first off, we are going to give out the Coke Roberts Award. Uh, and what that is, is Coke Roberts was a former activities coordinator, uh, which is the position that I hold. And um, he designed this award as a leadership award for a student or two who shows exceptional leadership. Uh, this award is not given out every year, um, but this year we actually have two people that I'd like to recognize. Um, first off, I'd like to recognize Nathan Morgan. If you don't know Nathan, uh, he's involved with a lot. Uh, so he served for over two years uh, on our ASB, uh, ending out as our overall ASB president. He served on Link Crew, Key Club, BSU, Gun Violence Prevention, and did work on our No Place for Hate Committee as well. Uh, he also had a lot of service in athletics. Uh, he was our tennis captain, dive team member, swim manager, and for Ultimate Frisbee, he was not only um, a player, but he was a manager and JV coach. Uh, he also took pictures for, photo uh, for volleyball as well, so he stayed busy with athletics. Um, he was also a member of the National Honor Society, keeping up his grades in AP classes, uh, and he played in our orchestra. That's just what he did inside of school. Outside of the school, Nathan worked for Zoo Corps, he was a TEDx Youth Lead Volunteer, and Virtual Field Office Leader for the Students Demand Action. On top of all of that, you'd see Nathan at most games, dances, or any type of school event. Where he has the time and the energy, I don't know. Um, but one thing I do know is that he is a go-getter, he's passionate, and he's able to stay organized and stay driven in a way that a lot of students uh, are not capable of. And it really was amazing to work side by side with him. Uh, and beyond just his work that he did with the school, the work that he's done for ASB during this pandemic is beyond. I've probably been in contact with him daily since we've been shut down. Uh, and it's amazing what he uh, is able to stay on top of and stay connected with even through a pandemic. So you've done an amazing job, Nathan, and you really do deserve this award. On the other end of the spectrum, um, being a leader doesn't always mean having to be included in um, being a part of a bunch of different organizations. Sometimes it just means you do one thing and you do it really well. Um, so for the second recipient of the Coke Roberts Award, I'd like to congratulate Riley Knock Tribe. Uh, for those that don't know Riley, she took over uh, as a sophomore our Wildcat News, uh, Wildcat Wednesdays, uh, and she completely made it her own. She's produced over 43 episodes of the weekly news um, that shows during our advisory and that's shown out to the community um, and beyond. Uh, she's, count uh, she's produced countless video projects for us, including music videos. Uh, she's promoted dances, activities. Uh, she's celebrated our students, our staff. Oh, and she also did a little bit of investigation in our haunted attic above. <laughs> I just thought about that. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you still look up in the attic, though, I bet you'll find the evidence of what she found. Um, she once told our class that she takes almost eight hours per week to edit the weekly news. So if you throw in all the extra projects she did on top of just our episodes, she did over 400 hours of editing for our school. She really did amazing work to help keep our students and staff informed uh, and to keep us entertained. Whenever the class would come up with ideas of things, uh, Riley would just smile and laugh and say, yeah, I can make it happen. And she really has made it happen. And I know she's gonna continue to go on and uh, spread her wings with her career. And I really do wish the best and I thank her for everything that she's done with Wildcat News and to help spread journalism here at West Seattle. So congratulations both to Riley Knock Tribe and to Nathan Morgan for being the recipients of the Coke Roberts Leadership Award. You guys deserve it. Next up, it's with pleasure that I award the Willard Shield Award. 
Established by the class of 1929 in honor of their fellow classmate, Bill Willard, who died after sustaining injuries on the football field. This is voted on by the class of 2020 and is given to the male and female who, through scholastic effort, participation, and inspiring personality, contributed the most to West Seattle High School. This is the highest honor that any class can bestow on their fellow classmates. So with that, it's my honor to award the Willard Shield Award to both Kevin Hugh and Laura Reed. Because this is an award that is given um, from students to other students, I thought it was best that they give their own words for why they voted these students um, the Willard Shield recipients. Kevin Hugh is an amazing student leader who actively seeks to make a difference in the West Seattle High School community. Kevin rose up to the opportunity to give every student a voice and spent two years on ASB where he made sure that every student at West Seattle knew that they mattered. Kevin is an incredibly selfless human being who plans to start and run his own nonprofit organization in the future. He has earned this award due to his ability to care for his community. He has made an impact on every student that will be remembered by us forever. Every time he talks, you can tell he has a pure heart and always speaks from a place of compassion. He's incredibly intelligent and we cannot wait to see all of the amazing things he'll accomplish in the future. Laura Reed is the type of person you see and you instantly, instantly know she's going to make an amazing friend. She is kind, understanding, and caring. She's a very good listener and when talking with her, you can always tell that she's taking in everything that you're saying. She always knows what's to say and is there to hype you up with some good words and advice when you need it. Laura, Laura constantly puts others before herself. Laura Reed is a highly intellectual individual who will always lend a helping hand to anyone around her that needs support. Laura Reed is truly loved by her teachers and friends alike. I truly can call her my best friend. Laura Reed has a heart of gold and is someone who is very easy to spend time around. She deserves to win the most memorable, most memorable award because she is truly someone who made a difference within the West Seattle High School community. So again, congratulations to both, both Kevin Hugh and Laura Reed for winning the Willard Shield Award. Congratulations. Bonjour, I'm Megan Schumacher, French teacher at West Seattle High School. I'd like to tell you about one of the World Languages Senior Department Award winners, Juliet Annawal. Juliet is one of the only students at West Seattle High School to pursue studies in more than one language at the same time. Not only did she study both French and Spanish during her years at West Seattle High School, she committed to mastering them, taking levels one through four and earning the seal of biliteracy in both languages. During all four years at West Seattle High School, she was an exemplary student of both languages, showing dedication and committing herself to mastery. She is an inspiration to all with her high level of proficiency, learned 100% in a classroom setting. Nice job, Juliet. Felicitations et felicidades. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. 你好,Lizzie's the Chinese teacher, Miss King, Jing Lao Shi. It is my great pleasure to honor the World Language Senior Award to Kenneth Shui Lovila. Shui is fluent in both English and Japanese. In Chinese, he almost always gets 100% every semester and has almost perfect attendance for the past four years. Congratulations to Shui. My name is Kira Hopkins, and I'm going to present this year's English Department Award. This year, the award goes to Brielle Martin, who was a student in my ninth grade English class, and she also took AP Language and AP Literature. Brielle describes herself as a writer who is interested in creating literary worlds. She wrote in her personal statement that, quote, words are tools to build a world and create character. They are a coping device and my chosen form of expression. The heroes of my stories aren't just characters, but representations of myself that I hide from the world. I like what she says here because she acknowledges that sometimes it is difficult to speak up and share what we sometimes hesitate to say, but that words and writing are a way to do that. 
One time, Brielle and I discussed Richard Hugo, a local poet who grew up in White Center and attended West Seattle High School. In one poem published in 1973 called Approaching the Castle, he wrote about soldiers hesitant to come home after the difficulties of battle. His words sound appropriate for the current pandemic. He writes, this winter, many have fallen. Supplies are low. Those who came down with fever headed back home. The governor sent word. He advised us to go in, take notes, and send back a full report. Ultimately, the soldiers in the poem stop short from going home, even though they know that, quote, the riches we find inside will be in rich light, pulsing off walls of gold. My hope is that Brielle would not hesitate from sharing her stories with the world, and that all of my students will continue to find the riches that can be found in writing and reading, even and especially when we are facing difficult circumstances. I wish you the best, class of 2020. Hello, my name is Ms. Hall, and tonight it is my singular honor to award the General Studies Scholarship to Alex Wood. Alex, I heard we were supposed to be a little bit light and funny, so I've gathered a couple of friends, the high school graduation bear Matriculata and Piggy, who got a whole lot of money for you. That's very symbolic, but actually I don't know if I have it in me to not be actually serious about your many accomplishments, so heck with this. Alex, you are a great person. You are much deserving of the scholarship. You are so bright. You have a GPA of 3.9. You're one heck of a musician and you're the soul of tact. Do you know how I know that? Do you know how I know how polite and tactful you are? You sat in my classroom for four years. You sat through my um, little indulgences and in enthusiastic burst of song and while other students were saying things like Ms. Hall stop you just say something like wow Ms. Hall you really like to sing don't you see what I mean tactful and Alex as smart and as talented as you are and I didn't mention good at or no great at origami I had the most fun watching you teach students in the origami club you were such a great teacher. You're so patient. But Alex, just seriously, most of all, you're just a nice person. You're empathetic. You're empathetic because you've gone through your own struggles and you've figured out how to be self-aware. You've figured out how to just do your best. And um, last year I asked you, Alex, just from ninth grade to now, you're so much calmer. And I asked you how you did that and you said I pay attention to my body I know when I need to calm down I know what's happening and you were confident and you actually inspired me to pay more attention <laughs> more attention to my own breathing more attention to my body because I thought that that was such good advice Alex, we're so proud of you. The IEP department is so proud of you. I know that you're one who is going to help mitigate the effects of climate change. You're gonna help mitigate social problems. You are just a terrific person. We're proud of you, and we're looking forward to hearing about your bright future. Thank you so much, Alex, for being our student at West Seattle High. Hi, my name is Tamara Boynton Howard and I'm from the Family Consumer Science Department. Hi there, my name is Ray Klein and I am happy to present the Family and Consumer Science Department Award to Layla Fowler. Layla gives it her all. In every class she has participated in, I can count on her to think outside the box and go the extra mile. Layla hasn't just been showing up these last four years. She's consuming, integrating and making the learning useful for herself. And that's what CTE is all about, learning that can impact your whole life. So 
I am honored to have had Layla her freshman year in family health and her senior year in human development. She has made learning so much fun for herself and for me too. Layla Fowler is one of the most dedicated and creative students in the culinary program. She has demonstrated her love and her drive for culinary since entering the program as a sophomore. Layla never backs down from a challenge or misses an opportunity to create a masterpiece. I wish her all of the best and I look forward to going to one of her bakeries someday. Hi, my name is Ethan Thomas and I get the honor of announcing the Music Department Award. This year, it is my pleasure to present the 2020 Music Department Award to Katie Jones. Katie has been a strong member of the music program at West Seattle High School for the past three years and is one of the leading advocates for the growth and development of our program. She's been a section leader in band, leading her peers in small group rehearsals. She is a drum major directing the band during parades and football and basketball games. And she is in jazz ensemble, which meets for rehearsal an hour before school starts every day. In all capacities, Katie is a true leader. She brings a cheerful joy to class every day that is infectious. She is welcoming and nurturing towards students new to our program, helping them to feel comfortable and modeling the skills they need to become leaders themselves. It has been a pleasure having her as a member of our program the last three years, and we will certainly miss her presence next year. But her mark has been left on our community, and the legacy that she helped create, a legacy of quality, dedication, perseverance, and selflessness, will live on for future generations of students. And for that, we are truly thankful. Congratulations, Katie. Hi, I'm Matthew Ketchmerick, Department Head of English Language Learners. I am happy to announce T. Lom as this year's Department Award winner and the scholarship that goes with it. His four-year journey reminds me of a quote from Plato, never discourage anyone who continually makes progress. Congratulations, T. Good luck in college. Ms. Thomas and I would like to present the CTE Senior Award to Carl Friedrich. Carl is a very self-driven individual. He never hesitates to start a project and will help out even when not asked. And when he sees anyone in need, he's the first one to step up. Carl is so quiet sometimes that I thought for a long time that his real career path would be as a mime. Um, but this idea was pushed from my mind when I saw him actually make a box and not just pretend to be trapped in one. He is whip smart and I have never ever seen him without a smile on his face or his signature two red hoodies. We need more Carls in this world and I wish you the best. Uh, Carl's skill and ability are belied by his quiet demeanor but they are a testament to the uh, notion that one should speak softly and carry a big stick and then build something out of that stick. Uh, his work both in school and working outside of school with the community build organization Sawhorse Revolution have given him so much more experience than most Wood students could hope to get and hopefully will push him towards a long and successful career of building magnificent things with his hand. You know, the, the mime thing doesn't pan out, but Carl, you are a magnificent human being and I will sorely miss you. So I wish you all the best of luck. Take care. Hi everybody, I'm Kim DePew with the Math Department at West Seattle High School and I'm presenting the Math Department's Senior Scholar Award. First, the Math Department would like to offer a special appreciation to all our graduating seniors for steadfastly doing all you could to get through this past semester. It hasn't been easy. I would like to add that teaching is never easy and second only to parenting in terms of importance and complexity. This year has been especially challenging for all of us. Even in a good year, keep in mind that teachers deal with all, all sorts of unique individuals, from the most interesting to the most outstanding. Students sometimes have the capacity to wreak havoc with your day or be a source of joy and inspiration. Our math department scholar is one of those students that brings joy to the art of teaching and makes the classroom environment positive and productive. She is intelligent, kind, very patient, hardworking, and has an incredibly bright future ahead of her. Clearly of all the wonderful senior math students, which we adore, she was and continues to be an obvious standout. When I see her face, it has a smile on it, 
even on difficult math content days. After all, it isn't easy to do integration by slicing and rotation or compute multiple standard deviations or p-values from ambiguous data. She readily grasps the most difficult math concepts and unfailingly comes up with correct answers as evidenced by her outstanding test scores on both the AP statistics and AP calculus exams. Laura Reed, it has been an immense pleasure to have you in our classes. As I mentioned before, you make teaching math an enjoyable and uplifting profession. Whatever path you choose from here will no doubt be one that enriches the lives of those you come in contact with. Best of luck and congratulations to you and your family. Hello, I'm Jeff Racino representing the West Hill High School Science Department, and I'm extremely pleased and honored to announce Theodoric Greenleaf as the 2020 West Seattle High School Science Department Scholar. Uh, for those of you students that have shared a classroom with Theodoric, uh, you don't need me to explain to you what a uh, wonderful person and a multi-talented individual this young man is. But from a teacher's point of view, it goes so far beyond grades and talent. Theodoric has impressed all of his teachers with an honest passion and curiosity that's so essential to doing science and doing science well. Not to mention tremendously hard work. Uh, Theodoric has put in tremendous amount of work in the classroom for, well, for 3.6 years. And then since then, in distance learning, Theodoric has continued to work hard, especially in classes like AP Physics, during distance learning. We've really been putting in the time and having the success. Um, you know, let's put out one more thing. It's just is is sort of... A, and evidence and, and sort of the epitome of, of Theodoric's uh, talent, his exceptional talent. Theodoric's already been accepted to the uh, University of Washington Department of Biochemistry as an incoming freshman. That's just, that's very rare, almost unheard of. So Theodoric, congratulations and thank you for everything you've done for West Seattle High School. Hey, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Social Studies teacher Renee Phelps. I'm here to present the Social Studies Department Award for the class of 2020. And the Social Studies Department has selected Louise Sheely as our Social Studies Department Scholar. Louise has taken and excelled in every Social Studies course she's taken from World History, AP World History, AP US History, AP Government, and Economics. Her teachers have noted her enthusiasm and willingness to get involved in the classroom by posing questions, sharing her ideas, and making connections between history and current events. This inquisitiveness and participation not only has benefited her studies, but her, that of her peers as well. Louise is truly an intellectual. She cares about the process of learning, creating, and developing her understanding of the world. Not only is she a good writer, but her insight into the past is always deep and relevant. Congrats, Louise. We are so proud of you. Hello, my name is Colin Miller, and I would like to introduce the recipient for the Computer Science Departmental Award for this year. I first met this student when he was a freshman in the introduction to programming class, and at the same time I was teaching his brother in the AP class. So it does seem to run in the family. Uh, this student, however, became a relative fixture in the computer lab, taking every single computer science class that we offered. And late last year, at the end of one class, he grabbed the textbook for this year's class and started working through it on his own. Now, the University of Washington gives us a large number of labs to select from for this to use in this class. And this student throughout the year has worked a chapter or two ahead of the rest of the class and done every single lab that was available, whether it was required or not. Now, sounds like a pretty serious student, right? And he is. But he managed to do all this while at the same time keeping up a nearly continuous chatter with his fellow students. A lot of the time he was helping them with their problems in the class, which he was happy to do, but occasionally he was distracting them from their work as well. And he and Jacob were responsible for making sure that the tech club meetings never got too serious. So let me introduce Alec Metzlar as the recipient for the Computer Science Departmental Award for 2020. Congratulations, Alec, and best of luck next year. Hi guys! The West Seattle P Department would like to reward the two senior superlative awards to Tom Nguyen 
and Ben Trigg for excellence in their PE classes, their leadership, dedication, attendance, and overall um, work ethic. Congratulations, guys, and good luck in the future. Hi, Bianca and Theodoric. Bianca Custer and Theodoric Greenleaf. I hope this finds you. I've been hiding in the theater complex for, oh God, I can't even remember how long it's been. But I just wanted to say how much you've really done for us and how much you've really grown the program and how we recognize how hard you've worked and, and how much you've learned and how much you've taught us all. And it's important that you, that you know that because, well, we never know what's going to happen next. I guess it's nothing. I, uh, I just wanted to say I know how hard you've both worked on stage and off stage. And I know that you've learned a lot and I hope you've learned a lot. And you've really shown the way for other people to follow in your, in your footsteps because I know that people look up to you. And I know that, I know that you're a leader. You've really, really helped to lead this group. And that's, I mean, that's not a small thing. I know that most of all, I've learned from you. You've each taught me real dedication to your craft and you've each been so willing to try new things and trusted us not to embarrass you too much. And you've really each brought so much of yourselves to the program and to all the people who've had the opportunity to benefit from your knowledge and your experience. You really are the best of us. Bianca, Theodoric, I'm so proud of you. And I hope that we've had the opportunity to make you proud as artists and as people and as learners. You are the example that I will hold up to others because you are among the best of us. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go, but I just wanted to tell you how really proud I am of you and how everything's better because you were here and because you helped. I hope that when all this is over, we can get back together again and celebrate in a real theatrical way. But until then, I miss you. I'm proud of you. And I hope I'll see you soon. Hello, seniors. This is your counselor, Miss Jo. Hi, it's Miss Wynn. And we are excited to announce the winners of the West Seattle High School Scholarships. First and foremost, we would like to thank the West Seattle community for providing our students the opportunity to further their education with your generous monetary gifts. We are proud to present the following scholarship awards and would like to take a moment to briefly share some background about each award. For our first scholarship, the Karen Benson Scholarship is new this year and was generously donated by Karen Benson, a former student at West Seattle High School. The scholarship is awarded to a senior student who is pursuing a four-year college or university and is passionate in studying in the fields of STEM. We are so excited to announce the winner, Erica Ijeoma. Yay! For the Evan and Maria Bacchus Scholarship, two students were chosen for their all-around humanitarian efforts and their thoughtful and intentional post-secondary plans. The scholarship recipients are Keaton Dickinson. Yay! And Allison Burke. Whoa! The Clark Woodard Scholarship, donated by Mr. Woodard, goes to a special senior who will be attending the University of Washington as a freshman. Let's applaud for Katie Jones. The Cock Hill Community Service Award recognizes a senior who is a model of compassion, serving the community, and has completed the most community service hours. 
congratulations to Morgan Harris. Yeah. The Community Service Scholarship recognizes these deserving students who have consistently been present at West Seattle High School and who have served our school tirelessly and with grace. Congratulations to Kevin Hill, Nathan Morgan, Brielle Martin, and Jackson Carney. Yay! Miss Soma Rogers owned a restaurant on a boat on Harbor Avenue. It was a popular place in West Seattle, and she employed many West Seattle High School students. She appreciated the tight-knit community of West Seattle and wanted to pay it forward by funding the Selma Rogers Scholarship. With that said, the following students were deemed worthy of the scholarship as they are great all-around students and represented West Seattle well. Congratulations to Ryan Harper, Margaret McLaughlin, Timothy Anderson, Hayden Hastings, and Natalie Grupp. The Future Teacher Award honors a senior who is passionate and committed in pursuing a career in education. We are honored to support this student's future endeavors on becoming an educator. Let's give a round of applause to Ella Claxton. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the following scholarships, as well as the Department Award Scholarships, are funded by the Bonnie Brush Foundation. Mr. Brush was a member of the class of 1948. The Brush family owned a great amount of real estate in West Seattle, and he cared for that property until he passed. Bonnie Brush loved West Seattle High School and left a generous endowment to award scholarships to graduating seniors for many years. They are scholars, leaders, and great all around people. The Blue and Gold Scholarship recipients are chosen for their outstanding involvement and contribution to West Seattle High School. These students are Ulysses Hamber, Sophia Palmer, Adam Chin, Emily Buchanan, Naomi Kuhn, Anna Dillon, August Tolzman, Bianca Custer, Catherine Long, and last but not least, Parker Ellingson. Yay. And now for the Wildcat Award. This scholarship is given to students who best exemplify the spirit of being a Wildcat. The scholarship recipients are Jack Crowley, Josiah Clark, Kayla Piggy, Manaya Smith, Seppo Hill Ramir, Jalen Boyd, Melina Iglesias, Lauren Walker, Angel Cortez, and Ellen Peach. Woo! Congrats to you, the West Seattle High School Scholarship winners. Hello, I'm Ms. Swenson, school counselor at West Seattle High School. It is my honor to announce the recipients of the Robert Jackson Block Awards for Excellence in the Arts. These awards are named after Robert Jackson Block, a renowned civic leader and arts patron who was the co-founder and longtime president of the Allied Arts Foundation. The foundation believes in the value of the arts as central to life and the vibrancy of our community and believes that this starts with supporting the arts in schools and encouraging the next generation of citizens and leaders. They sponsor the Block Awards to ensure that student artists are recognized at their schools on par with athletes, academic achievers, and other student body standouts. Every year, the Allied Arts Foundation 
has presented the Jackson Block Awards to outstanding student artists at each Seattle Public High School in the fields of performing arts, literary, literary arts, music, and visual arts. Here are our outstanding student artists selected by their West Seattle High School teachers. First, Caitlin Ward, nominated in music by Mr. Thomas. Caitlin is a strong member of the music program at West Seattle High School. She is in symphonic band and jazz ensemble and is a section leader in both those groups, leading her peers in small group rehearsals. Caitlin has been a strong advocate and a key reason for the growth and the success of our music program. Next, Thea Polito, nominated for visual arts by Ms. McLeod. She is nominated for her high quality work and a willingness to challenge herself. She trusts the process even when doubting herself and creates quality and meaningful work. Caitlin and Thea, congratulations to both of you for your accomplishments in the arts. The Washington State Seal of Biliteracy recognizes public high school graduates who have attained a high level of proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing in one or more world languages, in addition to English. Here are the West Seattle High School students who have achieved the Washington State Seal of Biliteracy. Congratulations to you all. The next set of scholarships is provided by our Monogram Club. For those that don't know what the Monogram Club is, it's a group of former West Seattle athletes who lettered during their time at West Seattle High School. It has been said that Monogram members are some of the most spirited alumni of West Seattle. They love the school and love supporting the young athletes who have competed wearing the blue and gold colors. We thank them for supporting and donating over $14,000 for our graduating athletes. Hi, Wildcats. This is Miss Newman and this is my dog, Wally. Um, and I'm pleased to announce this year's um, recipients of the West Seattle High School Alumni Association Scholarship. I don't know if you all are aware, but we have one of the most active alumni organizations in the country. Year after year, they award thousands of dollars in scholarships to our graduating seniors. And for that, we could not be more grateful. You all are about to join an organization rich with history and tradition. This year, the association awarded in total $140,000. The awards were $87,000 to returning students and $53,000 to the 2020 grads. The Alumni Association congratulates the entire graduating class of 2020, welcomes them to the West Seattle High School Alumni Association, and hopes to see them at future all-school reunion celebrations. We hope they will become active members of the Alumni Association, carry on the tradition of helping students attend college, and realize their dreams. The recipients of this year's scholarship are Laura Reed, Ben Trigg, Anna Dillon, Erica Igioma, Maria Grossi, Owen Jacobs, Juliet Anawalt, Emily Buchanan, Adam Chin, Zachary Elder, Parker Ellingson, Ryan Harper, Evan Johnson, Brielle Martin, Alec Metzlar, Kenny Nguyen, Marissa Rackner, Michael Smithgall, Lauren Walker, and Keaton Dickinson. Congratulations, scholars. Hey, Wildcats. Virtual Vance here. Uh, I'm going to get an opportunity to close out our award ceremony. We have a few more awards to go. Um, so let's jump right into that. So first off is gonna be our Gold Honor Cord Scholars. So these are students who have a 3.25 GPA or above. And as you can see by the slide, we have a, a very long list of students, about 98 students, I, I believe, that are on this particular slide. So I'm not gonna read through each name, but wanna pause for a minute to give you all a chance to, to read through this list of scholars. Um, and again, big, big congratulations uh, for all the students uh, on this slide and the hard work and the consistency and persistence that they've had to 
uh, maintain over their high school career. So congratulations. Next up is gonna be our National Honor Society Silver Honor Cord Award winners. And these are students with a 3.5 GPA and above and are part of the National Honor Society. So if you didn't know, the, the National Honor Society was founded in 1921, uh, came to West Seattle High School shortly thereafter. The national organization was founded to recognize students who excel in academics and service to the community. So to be a member, students must be a sophomore, junior, or senior with a 3.5 cumulative GPA, and also participate in two service events over the course of the year. So tonight, uh, we'll be recognizing the following students uh, on this slide, as they'll be receiving their silver honor awards um, in dedication to their, their service to the National Honor Society. And they'll also be receiving a gold cord to represent uh, achieving above a 3.2 uh, GPA. Again, that's a long list of students. I'm not going to read through uh, each name, but to give you an opportunity to uh, do so yourself as we uh, take a moment to uh, congratulate and honor uh, the students on this slide. Thank you. All right, drum roll, top 10 seniors. So this, these top 10 students represent our seniors with the highest GPAs. So a representation of our top academic performers uh, of our senior class, again, as represented through a grade point average. And so that includes Anna Dillon, Jack Crowley, Brielle Martin, Theodric Greenleaf, Laura Reed, Nathan Morgan, Louise Sheely, Ellen Peach, Krista Ursino, and Adrian Shaw. So out of this group, we identify the valedictorian and the salutatorian. So the, the top two uh, GPAs out of our senior class. And this year's uh, winner, the salutatorian goes to Jack Crowley. Congratulations. And our uh, valedictorian, Anna Dillon. Congratulations to Anna and Jack and all the top 10 uh, seniors and really all the students that have been recognized uh, tonight. It's just really a, a, an honor to, to be here and to be able to recognize you even in this virtual capacity. So that's gonna wrap up our evening tonight. I mean, just such a big thanks to everybody helping put this together, all the staff members that recorded videos, to Ms. Swenson who helped put, put this all together, and Ms. Ferda getting the communications out, and also to, to Jonah Elmbaum who uh, did the production for tonight. So just yeah, big, big thanks. I know we're all trying new things and, and, and doing things different ways. Just really proud of our seniors. I mean, this is definitely a year to remember. Uh, and uh, a year to forget in some ways, uh, I imagine also. But um, just know that uh, you know, you've gotten this far, you've made it through some crazy times, you're prepared for anything, really. And uh, if you've made it through this far, anything that, that your life is gonna throw at you, you're prepared for, um, you've demonstrated your ability to, to be honored and recognized for the hard work that you've done uh, so far. And I know you'll continue to do that uh, in the future and represent West Seattle High School and our Wildcat Pride uh, on into the future. So congratulations, be safe, good night, go Wildcats. <laughs>